Welcome to On the Chain. But Jeff, let's let's jump into this. So John Deaton, I love this man. Just you talk about another warrior, a superhero. But this is John Deaton. He was on Fox Business today uh, with Liz Claiborne and and Charlie Gasparino. Let's listen in. Let's watch this. Oh, we got one. Got one in. OTC. Well, sign us up, man. We're gonna we'll throw a party. Stay Everybody will be Miami. happy. It'll be great. We'll have a fun time. You guys can meet us. We can have some be awesome. fun. Be awesome. Here we go. And crypto company Ripple. Lawyer John Deaton is very much a part of that case. He's been there since the start, representing 68,000 retail investors that hold XRP. He joins us now it's with Charlie up. Gasparino. Charlie, take it away. Uh, John, uh, obviously the case, if you look at some of the motions, is going in your favor, in going in the favor of, of Ripple. It, it seems like the judge is siding with them on motions for discovery, on, on document requests, including Bill Hinman, that former SEC chairman's uh, notes involving his speech that ripple says is a big part of their case um and you jeff let me just stop this here they actually for once they put xrp on the screen they didn't call it well, ripple about it. they didn't right. put up litecoin okay it's usually like <laughs> okay. usually so running the bitcoin, litecoin bitcoin litecoin and ethereum but to be fair they did have to offset it with bitcoin trading close to 24k because they couldn't reference xrp without referencing bitcoin but that's okay, Jeff, because I'm proud of them. They did a good job. Yeah, they, Fox oh, Business is killing it. Gasparino's killing it. Deaton's killing it. You've been that's right it. there all along since the beginning as Amicus Curry. And now, from what we understand, they want you gone. They're trying to get you off the case. What happened? <laughs> well, Charlie, thank you. And thank you, Liz, oh, for having me back on. It's crazy times. Uh, they're reasserting that things that they've already asked to the judge I made a YouTube video where I did a satirical mock cross-examination of former Chairman Clayton, and I infused scenes from my cousin Vinny, and I, I tweeted a few things that were harsh criticism, and they told the judge that I shouldn't be granted amicus status because of that. She rejected those views, granted me amicus status, and lo and behold, now they're arguing that I should be thrown off the case. Right. They, well, just so the you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying argued. I agree. I'm not saying I agree with them, but they described you as violent. I know you were a Marine, but you don't look that violent. But uh, they said they, out of their they, you said you wanted, there was one thing where you satirically suggested you would smack Jay Clayton, the former SEC chair, in the face. And there was uh, what was the other one? It was uh, it was oh the video of oh, the mock video of Clayton oh, and and also that you mentioned a, a witness for for the uh, for the SEC. Um, obviously, these are you were you were kidding around, right? I mean, just get that off the table. Yeah, it, it was a mock a mock cross examination right. uh, of Jay Clayton, satirical, exaggerated. For example, Charlie Liz, I had a, a time where in the My Cousin Vinny movie, the judge says to uh, Joe Pesci, "Are you on drugs?" And <laughs> I, I remember that. I really and I respond and I respond <laughs> to the judge, pretending, "No, judge, I don't use drugs, but maybe I'll need them soon." They claim that I promoted drug use. Uh, they literally argued that nonsense. Well, the judge insane. rejected all of this. Well, they you know, don't, well you're losing. They are losing the case. This is, uh, by the way, Liz threatens, threatens to kill me every day. So, and, and I'm still here. Right? Uh, but, <laughs> look at the look at that face. Look at that look. I know. I know. You got to The poison's not working. Whatever it's going on. But she just killed him again with the eyes. She was with like, those eyes, that look. He's like, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, she was just like, but look, there's a friendly laugh right there. They're, they're, good, they're good pals. They're good oh, pals. Earth. But what are the next steps in this case? I mean, we've been going around and around. It obviously has huge implications. If Ripple wins and they can say they're not a registered security, they're but not they a security. are a, a, a crypto. A crypto. Or if they, they, are if they a, win, yes, exactly. that, that, that basically is going to curtail the SEC's regulation efforts. And it looks like they're moving in that direction, at least based on the judge's motions. What's the next step here? Well, the next step right now, there's that Daubert motion, which is just challenging expert witnesses and briefing next month is due for summary judgments. That's where each side tries to get a complete victory. The judge decides one way or the other, or she might decide that a jury has to issue certain factors. But you're right, Charlie, a lot is at stake because the SEC has come out and argued that the token itself, not just the way Ripple sells it, but that if anyone in the United States sells XRP, they're violating Section 5. So if the SEC were to get its way then and deem XRP a security, the token itself, then every altcoin on the market 
including Ethereum, would be in play for the SEC to get their hands on the uh, this asset. I know I, that's what I'm saying. This is this has huge ramifications. Uh, Brad Sherman told Ellie Terrett, my producer today, that he thinks that the SEC is going to win easy. He thinks that the investigation win. should expand, not win. just to this one aspect with Ripple, to any and any like coin wallet or any sort right. of aspect of crypto that that was trading the XRP or trades it. Do you, right. what, what do you think yeah, about Mr. that? B. Win. Well, I think that uh, Congressman Sherman, uh, along with Chairman Gensler, wouldn't know security if it bit him in the butt, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> they keep that's, saying that anybody- You're gonna get in trouble for saying that, by the way, that's violent. Well, I know, I know. I said, but so they're going to tweak that. Hey, think about this, Charlie. There is taxpayer dollars are being spent for someone to shadow everything I do and read every tweet I make. And if I may say for you and Liz, That's I right. want to quote someone very important who said, quote, the SEC's litigation tactics suggest that the SEC is adopting its legal positions to further its desired goal and not out of the faithful allegiance of the law. Charlie Liz. Liz, you know who said that? That's not a John Deaton tweet. That's Judge Sarah Netburn I know she saying said it. In yeah. well, Liz, has a, Liz has a question for you. John, my question involves, uh, obviously, XRP has continued, well, let's say Ripple, has continued to forge ahead. In fact, they've got a pretty decent overseas business, don't they now? So they're legit overseas. Is there any way to somehow split the difference? I mean, if the SEC suddenly says, you guys are a security and not a currency, and that becomes a disaster here in the U.S., can they still continue to do business and make profits overseas? Oh, absolutely. 95% of what uh, Brad Garlinghouse said of XRP sales are outside the United States. And Liz, that's a great question because there's an easy win for everyone in this case. The SEC uh, could reach a settlement with Ripple and say that early sales, when the ecosystem was at its infancy, that those sales constituted a security, but that today's XRP, it's mm -hmm. been deemed a non-security in Singapore, Switzerland, United Arab Emirates, right. uh, and many Sorry. other jurisdictions it's only Spot in the united on. states being held up and, and so and then they'll what, survive let me just ask this john of uh, sort of broadening the discussion here we were higher for all most of the big name uh, cryptos but then it, there was a headline that hit earlier just a couple of hours ago that peter teal a uh, peter teal backed crypto company had gone bankrupt so now you've got celsius You've got this one, and it makes you wonder if the SEC looks at this and is painting everybody with the same ugly brush. Well, they, they are, but you know what they, there are, and, and let me make it clear, there are pump and dump schemes, there are fraud that's going on in, in, in any industry, including the crypto industry, but what you have is a few of these players who are using highly leveraged strategies and the house of cards are falling, mm. but you cannot complete a uh, mm. paint an entire industry with the broad brush. Liz, I went on record to say I believe Gary Gensler is going to sue an exchange, whether it's Coinbase or Binance or another exchange right. in the United States Agreed. by the end of the year. Mm. Agreed. Okay. I agree with um, that. And what's your timetable for when they decide your fate on this thing? Well, the judge, I have until Monday to give my response to the SEC asking that I be thrown out of the case uh, and to the be amicus brutal. status to be revoked. I'll answer that on Monday, and then hopefully uh, the judge within a week will give a decision. That's great. Someone's man. pulling an all-nighter, man. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a great one. That's going to be great. You know, it's just, Fantastic. man, the guy's on the front line. You know, he's fighting for all the investors out there. It's not just XRPs fighting on behalf of crypto at large. John Deaton is doing a huge service for the community, and it's really, it's amazing. Here he is supporting the community, supporting individual investors, while the SEC is attacking the individual investors. Are you down with OTC? Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops.